Austin Walker. Vinny Caravella. Are you ready for sci-fi? I was born ready for sci-fi. Well, welcome to the world of... 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 Welcome to the world of... Cra... Cradle. 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 I really like this game. Okay. What is Cradle, you are saying to yourself? What is Cradle? So, I, I say to myself. So Cradle is... Um, it's... it's. I don't want to sell it short or maybe oversell it, but for me it was kind of like a sci-fi gone home. Okay. In that it's like a first-person ex- exploration adventure Yes. Yeah, so there's some like puzzle mechanic stuff and there's some like... Um, like a little like platformer, which I'll, I'll show off. I'm starting from the very beginning here, but this is a narrative game. Okay, so you're, okay. are you like pulling together a story the way you would in yes. you Gone Home? Yes, and the, you kind of wake up here, uh, your character wakes up here, and I, it's going to sound cliche, but you have amnesia. Mm, that sounds a little sounds a little cliche. It's definitely cliche, okay. but Austin, no exaggeration here. I think this is one of the most realized, fleshed out, and unique sci-fi worlds that's, I have played in. That sounds in a really video game. exciting. Right, right, right. Uh, it, it, so saying that you wake up with amnesia sounds cliche, yeah. but like nothing about this story I have found to be very cliche. And I mean, that's a limitation of my science fiction reading. Sure. But it, everything in here is very novel, and there's a reason that you have amnesia. And I will say this off the bat. This story is very much uh, based on what you pick up and the context you get in the world. So there isn't a lot of like direct, clear narration about no. like, oh, this event and then that event. Every once in a while you get pretty decent exposition dumps, Okay. but you fill in all the details. And you fill in all the details, uh, and this is the kind of gone home bits, by kind of rifling through mm. all this stuff. Right, so you start picking up these. You have no idea, and your character has no idea what these things are. Sure, sure. Uh, but you start to understand them as you move forward. Okay. And there are tons of things to read here. Like, oh boy, there's a lot of stuff to get into. Uh, and you're like this procedure with the the spiritoxin excretion from the body. You're like what the hell? Yeah, is I'm that? not a doctor. I don't. You know, <laughs> that doesn't sound good though. Uh, Some newspaper know. clips. Like yeah, or, or whatever that is. That's a pharmacy. By yeah. Who? So some of the some of the textures are um, not great, uh, like this stuff. Right. Right. And it looks like hey, I don't. That just looks like a texture on the floor. But mm-hmm. you read all of this oh, stuff. Oh wow! So is you, there anything that you, you read in? this thing? What? You you read almost anything that's on the floor. You should try Jeez. and go around. All right. Some of this stuff is just gobbled together. Uh huh. As like one big thing. Yeah. Or some like. Or like you, yeah. you can't. Uh, but like, don't like pass over anything. Jeez, uh, is there anything that lets you know? Is there any button you can so, hit to like, wh- highlight? No, or? no. But like, your cursor changes. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Uh, but you know, you can you can read a lot of stuff. And so I spent maybe the first, and no exaggeration, half hour to f- maybe forty five minutes mm-hmm. just walking around this room, opening every drawer. And reading everything. And looking, looking, trying to look through everything, turning off all the lights. Good, you got to uh, save that electricity. Looking at every picture. Wow. Uh, trying to kind of piece together. Is this, this India? Is that is this? So uh, you kind of pick this up uh, later on, but um, it's it, your Mongolia. Preparing for a transfer. Okay. It's the future. Is it the future? Okay, so you. I'll, I'll, I don't want to spoil it, and I don't think I really can spoil it. Okay. Well, uh, I don't know the password. Can you like hit the button to turn it back off? Yeah. Oops. Sorry. Over on like. Oops. I hit escape again. Uh, no, actually, there should be a thing. Uh oh. Was there? Did we hit a glitch? That's weird. Maybe I was clicking too fast. Maybe. I hit enter. Or space. No. Usually, there's like a thing here that's just like. Go. I should have answered. I mean, it's not like you've done anything. We just load right back in. Yeah. Let me actually see if I can just load right back in. Uh, that was weird. 
it's loading right here. This should just take us up from uh, the uh, waking up. Right. So, uh, so wait, did you beat this game? I beat this game. Okay. Uh, how long? How long? How much time did you spend reading things on the ground? All of it. How much time did it take you all? all the uh, probably about three, or four hours, okay. maybe, maybe, maybe six. I lost track of time. Maybe so, six. So you, do you feel like you you've ground out all of the good, all the good I don't sci-fi know. juice? Uh, I like I said, the story I was able to put together was maybe I'm overstating by saying one of the most unique. Mm. But uh, I was really impressed by right. how original it was. Sure. Uh, so here's my task. So you get the, this is the main. Uh, kind of narrative clue here, right? Okay. Uh, and he says, Tabaha, I got fat, now I smell bad, so turn off your nose and don't look at me. I didn't say goodbye to Angat. Uh, I waited for him all day, but he didn't return. Please feed him and change him, lest he get sick. And then you follow this recipe, which is to make basically, the... it's almost like a tutorial. Right, right, right. But you do this thing, cook it until it's done. Angat will show up as soon as he smells the food. You can sell all the stuff if you like and toss the body in the river. I won't be coming back. Enabish. Okay. All right. So maybe it doesn't make so much sense to you right now. I, I did think I saw a thing. You would, what, what's that thing over to the... So what's that thing? So this thing you can read up and say, hey, powering on, loading basic system done, loading operating system, running device diagnosis, blood sampling done, copying genes done, determining mm. HQ error, mm. uh, continuing procedure not recommended, error, error, Why error. Why are we copying genes? Gene copy, I, neuro copying, transfer done, error, mirror phase error. Scientists always could have never, never should we. And then you have this sick helmet, which... Oh, that's a, that's a pretty sick helmet. Fuck that helmet. Oh. And then you have this. That's what I saw earlier. Uh, that was a thing I saw. Young lady. Hi. Hello. So this is dramatically different from Gone Home in one way, <laughs> which is it right, has robot can... ladies and like people in it who move. Uh, so check this out. The eyes are actual video. No. Yeah. Oh, that's, oh, that's really creepy. Are you sure? Yes. What? And it's explained in the actual fiction of the game. Oh, man. And check this out. Ah, <laughs> no. <laughs> Give Skrillex back. Give, that's, oh boy. Why would you take that out? Why not? Because it's a... Well, I don't know. I don't know why not. Should... This feels unethical. At least put it on, like, some... Put down, like, some something to put it on. Put it, put it on a pan. Put it on or some like, bubble wrap or something. Some bubble wrap or, like, get some parchment paper for it, maybe. How are we doing now? <laughs> Hello. What, is this, like... Is, is this Android number 93, or... So Why? all the numbers are explained uh, in the game, and okay. I kind of don't want to just explain okay, it all right now. Uh, that, that button's jammed. So let's kind of just start moving forward with... with uh, making the food. Making the food, yeah. Okay. Because it'll kind of show you what the game's Because I could spend an hour just in this room. And you do. Here's a... Let me see if I find one of the things that's just, like, super enticing. Like, And I'll just have you read this aloud. Okay. Is this it? Yeah. Uh, Cox's Code of Salvation. Were I given the magical opportunity today to send a one-word text into the past, I would write 3513 and send it to myself. Yes, it's only four digits, but it would have, to, but it would have been enough to save our world. This famous quote of Helmut Koch, Koch? I don't know. Koch naturally <laughs> tugs on our heartstrings. Today, when the prospects of returning to our former lives are all but nil, the thought of the, thought of the chance we had... Uh, excuse me, the thought of the chance we had missed torments us all. These days, everybody knows the number 3513. We associate it with a spell that could have saved us all if only we had cast it in time. But how is it that four simple digits could have prevented the disaster? Our exclusive interview with Professor Coach, the pioneer of neurocopying, sheds new light on previously unknown details of this tragic story. So it's stuff like that that you're like, what in the world happened? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, it, there's so many threads like that that you're just really like... Really interesting. Really interesting. Like, yeah. what the hell are they talking about? So let's... let's uh, Is there any... Here's a question. Yeah. Is there any, like, a journal? Can you pull up any sort of, like... Of your own? Yeah, in this game where, like, you get to write down stuff or, or like... No, you'd have to like, keep it on yourself. Eidolon did a good job of letting you have, like, little notes. No, there's nothing like that. Uh, but, you, you, like I said, you just kind of go and you read all I'll of this I'll bring my stuff. own notebook. You bring your own notebook... Uh, start a, start your own wiki because there's so much you're gonna want to like keep track of here. Man, uh, 
and like this will tell you some about like cheese the world are each of those post-it notes also readable or are those uh, I just I believe so god damn um, okay so, so uh, it's one of those things and we talked a little bit about this somewhere maybe it was on the Beast cast or somewhere else about uh, signal to noise ratio in yeah. adventure games mm -hmm. and kind of pe pulling together like in her story what's important what's not yeah. this is another thing one of those where like you go around and you read everything and what's important, what's not. Because I, like I said, this world is fleshed out in a way that it looks like you're looking through what you'd find in somebody's home. Right. It's dense like, in that real way. And not like, everything is relevant. Right. Uh, but some stuff is. Like or it's not relevant TV to guide, like, it's not necessarily relevant to like the big picture or like something But if like you're that. trying to put together, if you were a time traveler and just right. fell into this world, like even this stuff of like what's on TV uh, informs you of what's going on in this world. Right. So right. you ask if this is the future. Let's, uh, oh yeah, twenty. Well, let's, oh, it's it's my birthday. Hey, but, hey, hey, uh, hey. I would be ninety-one. And you want to see what happened today? Yeah, what happened? Today is the twenty-sixth year anniversary of the Colon catastrophe, when a consciousness emulation experiment at the Institute of Neurocopying in the city of Colon, Colon, whatever, Colm. Uh, went awry. It resulted in the first ever emission of disparatoxin. This day went down in history as the start of the Lilith epidemic. That sounds bad. And also, it's interesting because it's just like on this calendar. Right. right. Like, we're, we're far enough away from it now for it to be on like the shitty calendar your grandmother gave you for your birthday. Right. So 2076, right? Yeah. And like you can kind of date some of this other stuff if they have dates on it to right, see right. what's the timeline we're talking about. Uh, there are a lot of newspaper clippings. And the thing I like about this game, so I'm looking for a red pot. You can hit tab once right. in a while uh, to kind of bring up like what you right. should do next. Put the red pot on the furnace. Uh, so I know inside. So like you see this stuff, like mm -hmm. it's just newspapers, like lining stuff. Do you ever get, oh wow, that's interesting. Like if, okay, if you, do you see that picture on the inside door here? Yeah. yeah. Can you read that? Yep. Okay. So that's your it. character can, your char did your character read that from there or was that them saying, I think he's reading, I don't know, I think he is, okay. he's deducing that. Do you ever get your character's voice, yes. so to speak? He okay. is actually voiced. Okay. Oh, there's a red pot. There's a red pot. That's a good looking pot. <laughs> so some of the stuff is really good looking, some of the yeah. textures not so much. Okay. Uh, but you can see like this stuff where it's like like drawer right. liners. Like you just read this stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, fruit bushes will be affected first. Namely, the fruit bearing properties of the plum olive are set to decrease manifold. Only only select water adjacent varieties of this plant are likely to retain the ability. And like, like that, what? Okay. And like that stuff is just like, you know, you just go around tearing right. this house apart. The panic attacks, the first experiments in consciousness <laughs> simulation ended with rather unexpected results. Scientists report a strain reaction that sets in immediately following the neural copies activation. Reproduced in the processing device, the subject's nervous system begins to rapidly disintegrate, descending into a state of profound terror. The befuddled research, uh, the befuddled research, researched have already dubbed the, I assume researchers, yeah, yeah. have dubbed the phenomenon panic attack, panic attack. Launches an all-out assault on the nervous system. A mere two minutes of an uninterrupted attack leads to irreversible Something. yada, yada, right, yada, right. yada. Oh, really, I got bored of the article. Yeah, yeah. But really like, interesting. You know, uh, make sure you go in and search everything. So some stuff not readable, but a lot of the stuff mm -hmm. uh, around the house. But could you is. pick up that ball just there? Throw that ball. Oh, yeah. I think you can. Don't, oh. oh, don't lose it. You can use that later. We'll go play catch. Whoa. We... Wow, that took off. Uh, this stuff. Come on, man. This stuff. This thing. Gotta get your vitamins. Knife. All right, okay, we're make, gonna continue. Let's make this food. So I've gotta add a cup of water. Mm -hmm. uh, this stuff I just know. Uh, actually, let's put this down first. I'll put that. You have an inventory. Okay. I'll put it in my inventory for now because I need. To so turn that's the also water a little on. bit different from from some of the other kind of yeah. exploration games. You actually Check get out. to keep things like an adventure game. Check out this sink. <laughs> oh no! Oops! Gotta get a plumber in here. That's this. Yeah, that's that's. I mean, listen, it's better than nothing, right? Yeah, I'll fix your problem. That's better than nothing. You just have to you remember know, to check it. I don't know who I am, but you're, I don't you just show me you're house. a nice dude. You're a nice person. Let's uh, let's put this in here. Okay, and then fuck that cup. Uh, let's put some crumpled newspaper in here. Wait, wait, read I, it first. I, I do love that you don't read no. this. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like, oh no, this could have been the clues to everything. <laughs> uh, we've got to put some wood in there. Okay. 
So all this stuff actually took me a long time to figure out. Yeah. Uh, so you pick up stuff, and then when it has the circle over the icon mm. is when you can try and interact uh, with something. Did you just hit that helmet with that piece of wood? Uh, it, like, didn't do anything. But, <laughs> like, otherwise you drop it and you hit right mouse button to throw it. Gotcha. Uh, but this stuff actually took me a while to figure out. I was, like, looking for wood all around the house. It doesn't tell you where stuff is. Mm -hmm. Does actually, that, there as was someone a, who plays a lot of adventure games, do you like that or do you dislike it? It was interesting for this until I had to find the goddamn remote control. Okay. Uh, in this room or in, in this inside? room? Okay. Uh, and uh, hint, the remote control. I'm just because I don't want. I spent about twenty minutes looking mm -hmm. for it. Oh Jesus! The remote Christ. control is over here. Okay. I can't use it. There's no power. On Which so so to be fair, I get it because they want you to dig through all this crap. Yeah. So they so that you'll run across interesting things. But I things. couldn't find that but, thing. Yeah, I was looking yeah. all over for it. Um, so the nice thing they do also is they will reset after major milestones the things like that rural control will go back to over there. Okay. So it's like you're in here tearing this house apart, looking for something else, and you're like, "Fuck, where did I put that remote?" Mm. Uh, it'll reset back, to, gotcha. and, and that's a smart move. Can you leave this room right uh, now? Or we you... will find out. Okay. In just a second here, actually, let's light this up. And why not, right? Oh, don't nope. you missed? Well, I'm gonna try and throw this in here. Oh, a new task. <laughs> I, I want to blow this house up. I, I thought you were a nice man. You used that bucket to catch the water, and now you're just trying to blow the whole house up. I, can't, I don't think I, don't I don't think you can do it. All right. So the water water's starting to boil. Mm -hmm. uh, we our next task is get the plum olives, and you know that plum olives are, are one of the few things that will survive. I did read that. You ready? Oh. oh, this is pretty. It is very pretty. These clouds are really interesting. Yeah, huh. the skybox stuff is interesting. Yeah. Welcome it's to like, the future, Austin. The future looks looks all right. There's, there's a lot of green, some rolling hills. It's like a Windows desktop here. You want to check out my clothes? Yeah. Because this is weird. Uh, you got got, homie. Like, what uh, happened? I don't know. I don't know. All right. So we're going to go down to Do the... Do you know uh, at this point? Now not, you the player. No, not really. Huh. I, like, I have theories. Okay. I like that. Uh, oh, this is big. Right? Anywhere you can oh, see. Oh, I love the skybox. I love it's like yeah. it's like yeah no these stylized. are yeah it's stylized. It's that's how it looks. All right, so let's uh, let's do a little bit of adventure game in here. I'm so you're gonna, looking for plum olives. Plum olives, they're in the trees. They're the red fruits in the trees. I just need to. And so like I'm playing with a mouse and keyboard here. There's no controller support, and I actually okay. went to go turn the sensitivity down because I know for quick looks, the jerky mouse stuff can be a little tough. But I'm at the lowest sensitivity, so we just need to get these things nice. down. Pick them up. I'm gonna pick up my stick again. I'll put it back in my inventory. I just need two. Okay. So throw that up there. Pull up. Nice shot. Yeah, thanks. And we'll grab those, and I'm gonna run back to the house. Uh, so a lot of time actually spent also moving between places. Okay. This is the fastest you move. This is my run speed. This is my walk speed. Oh wow. It's a take your time kind of game. Yep. Yep. Um, now, I'm not saying this game is is superb or great on its own. There's a lot of stuff I, I actually didn't like, like about in terms it. Of its but like the story and, and the narrative, um, and it ends in a very are you satisfied kind okay. of way. Okay. It's not going to give it to you. Okay. Uh, so I was actually, for 90% of this game, just super psyched, wanting to run in this office and tell you about it. Then I beat it, and I was like, oh, you know, there's a pretty big caveat here. Right. And like... Which is that you need to know what you're getting into and yes. know that you're the type of person who... Because, like, it's just going to... It kind of uh, dead ends and ends. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh, where's all the... Where's the big exposition of, right. like, what happened? All right, so we've got... But it these... could be in here. Maybe you just didn't find it. That's... Like, how messy this room is. I it know. could be anywhere. I could just be... It could be here under two-head turnip. Uh... I like that you just reached for that knife and instead opened up an interesting news article about the transhumanism program that the UN was working on. Give me your money. No, Give me your money. Vinny, she's so she's she's got problems. Well, yeah, you took off her head earlier. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well. All right. So let's. Also, uh, yeah. No, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna open this inventory. I'm gonna, oops. Oh, don't. I'm oh. gonna drop these. I was like, look at that. It stood off on its head. Yeah. I'm gonna slice it right down the middle. So I'm gonna cut these. Put that back in there, and then I've just got to drop them into our uh, pot here. One. Uh, oh, did I get it? Oop. Two. Okay. I'll just put these in my inventory yeah. and walk over. 
That is an inventory ass inventory sound. Uh, that's I don't think that's the inventory sound. I think that's just beeping in the world. The like no, dee, dee, dee. no the oh the like, the like oh the flap of the flap leather or whatever of something opening or closing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so we've got these in there. Yum. Uh, I've got to go get some roots. You got to get roots. Got to add a little a little flavor. Um, Are these out here mm -hmm. hanging out? They're nice. drying some dried roots. Put it in my inventory. Come back in here. Like I said, this part's kind of tutorial. They want you to use the mortar and pestle, which, you know, if you don't know what a mortar and pestle is, uh, you're going to have a tough time finding it. Do you have a mortar and pestle in your bug out bag? I have one at home. Not in my bug out okay. bag. That's too... Uh, is that that's too... That's too heavy. That's okay. That would just weigh you down. Uh, go get a rock. Yeah, All right. sure. So uh, I'm going to put this in here. Oops. <laughs> I just think you shouldn't be doing this on the ground. What? Why won't that go in there? Uh oh. Oh, sorry. That's not the. That's not the pestle. Or uh, that's yeah. just a bowl. Yeah, that was just a bowl. So I actually, when I first mm. played this, I was like, "Is you know, is that what they're calling the the, right, the right. mortar? Is it a big thing? Or yeah. Is it a, is it, like, is that the right. thing? And it took me a while to see. Because like it could be. Right? Like, like I don't know what their future world stuff right. is. Uh, so actually, I need, to, need that where to put again. the word. Uh, there it is. Because you could totally use the that other little bowl in that way. Right. You know? And then I was like, oh, okay. And then, so it took me a little bit, but mm -hmm. I did find it eventually. So we drop that in there and then we boink. Uh, now we got to season it with salt. One of these is salt. You, you read what language? What, what language uh, is this in? I read the I read the clue here. Okay. That says, uh, uh, "Hey, arrange the jars ah. with salt, pepper, salt, cinnamon, curry, sugar." So I know it is this one. Actually, so the first time I was in here, mm -hmm. uh, I, I was just tearing this room apart. Oh, so no. it was just like. Were they everywhere? Yeah, it was just like everywhere. What it's, happens if you use the wrong one? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't really know. Uh oh. It's, it's it. just I can't use it. Yeah. So uh, we're done with this. Let's go take this out and go feed Ignat. Or, yeah. Ugna? Oh, Ugna? So I was like, what do I, well, who's, and I was like, holy oh, man. shit. And then but I was that, like, oh, well, it, this, it yeah. seems like that seems like a good place yeah. for it. As this gigantic eagle. Look at that big eagle. By gigantic eagle, I mean gigantic. Who's that big eagle? Eagle descended. And you're just like, okay. Yeah. I guess we have a, a eagle. Hey, bud. Shouldn't you like be good at getting? And I love the way he's animated. Man, it looks awesome. yeah, this is. Oh, does it have a cool vest? What is? So you're like, well, here he is. He's gonna eat our soup. Yeah. And he's like, yum, yum. This is careful. Good. It's hot. This is good stuff. I like it hot. Uh, and then you can go up to him and like, let's take this vest off, right? Yeah. So we gotta undo the snaps. Actually, I might have to wait. There we go. Because uh, it said in the note we should change him. Oh, right. Okay. So, unsnap. Unsnap is sick armor. And then... You just have... Wait a... S wait, what? What? Wait. No. That's not good. <laughs> That's not... Mm, this is a, a full-on Blade Runner situation. The animals aren't real. So... Or at least... Can you go put that lady's brain in there? Or her like weird chest cavity bit? I, I don't think so. I do have another uh, I do have another Are you thing sure? for him. I you haven't tried. Try I want to put her head in there? Or, or whatever. Was, wanna, the, was there another? Yeah. Put this thing in there? Yeah. It's not going to work. What if it work. did? Vinny, what if it did? No, you no. can't. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> He's not amused. <laughs> but, but. <gasps> right? Yeah. Right? Uh huh. And now you're about as you know as much as I do. Is that your theory? Well, I mean, that's I, a fair I, theory. I assume my character has a giant hole in his yeah, chest. Yes, that's a fair theory. Uh, or the the person who. I feel that like was. we shouldn't make T-shirts and just rip holes. I feel like they shouldn't be making clothes <laughs> for people with big chest cavities wide that are wide open instead of ripping T-shirts. All right. Something so has to go in there. No, you, you just change. You just change his clothes, and he's all like, "All right, well, I'm out." Thank you. Bye. Be back Bye, later, I guess. I guess. Uh, so you look at this thing and you it see, oh, number. it's got a number on it. And uh, that number is relevant. The vest has some numbers on it. Yeah. So Aha. you look at this data Aha. pad and uh, you can put in the code now, which is 2053. And this is a big 
one of your first big exposition dumps. Okay. So you'll start getting some of this stuff, and it's pretty long, it's so long, I don't so want to read it all. Whole thing, but but it's uh, this guy Enabish's journal. Okay. And uh, from this, you assume that uh, you you kind of learn about the eagle a little bit, not the like chest cavity thing. <laughs> no, not the. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm actually okay with that because like I, I kind of one of the things I hate in in sci-fi is when a character in the world starts explaining something yeah, in the world as if it was new to them, even so though it would just be every day. The most he says, you can find uh, the wind is strong. Uh, that's why I crafted this transparent layered vest. Right. Uh, like in that program about greenhouses, it keeps Ognots warm during the day. And when the night chill arrives, I put him in another warm mm. vest. Uh, he collects and digitizes flowers. He looks for the prettiest ones and makes phyto copies of them. Okay. You learn more about that later. Uh, you learn about like your, your kind of grandfather and his passing Bias away. Buying some cheese. Uh huh. Um, and you, you kind of yeah, like you said, you kind of learn about this from his perspective. Not that it's novel; it's uh -huh. kind of his day to day. Right. And right. what happens here? Uh, you see his grandfather dies. Um, yeah, you definitely have some interesting stuff in there. Skimming it as quick as possible. Yeah, it, it's pretty long, uh, and like. You learn about a little bit more about this neural copying stuff. Uh -huh. There are definitely words like new body in yes. there. Yes. Uh, and, and so he says, you know, it's a risk. He's, he might uh, transfer his body. He knows how dangerous it is. The genometer won't show his number, and you're not really sure what that is at this point. There was a thing that did say on a previous page about something about genometer numbers. Uh, I was like, oh, such and such a person. And you such do and learn all about 43. that. Interesting. So he's saying that basically he had this thing... Um, that was brought to him by Ognats uh, that he hid when he was a little child. Mm -hmm. uh, and he stowed away in this like little treasure chest or whatever. And here's a clue. Come out of the yurt, fly straight as a crow on a rock with a snag. Look for an arrow. Sorrowful tree will show you the way. Okay. Uh, but he says, no, nah, I can't find it. Uh, but I will find it. Maybe uh, this character post-amnesia. Right. Sometimes you need fresh eyes, amnesia yeah. eyes. Or a new player like me to go. And, <laughs> right. uh, or someone who's already beaten the or game. Or someone who's beaten the game already. To go and say, okay, straight as a crow, there's an arrow. Oh, yeah. All right. And then a sorrowful tree. Then we go to a sorrowful tree, which, you know, this I mean, this tree looks pretty all, sad. Yeah. It looks like he's pointing this Ooh, way. Oh, I see. And then look, there's a little... You and wouldn't... Then, whoa, look at those cool things that go... Look, yeah. That's cool. They're that's like, what I'm saying. Like, this world has, like, detail in it that yeah. is, like, you don't do anything with those. Right. It's just there to make the world feel real. Mm-hmm. All right, and then you find this corner here, Ooh. which I will say, I've tried to do things out of order since I played it. Like, just come here and find this. Yeah. You can't. Is it, is it not there? Or can it's you, not you just there. Can't okay. So you open this little box. I'm faking it. That's okay. Um, yeah, and some stuff he just doesn't know what to do with. He find this little thing. But <laughs> whatever. That's not what we're interested in. What we're interested in is this. Ooh. Does that look familiar? Yeah. Can you go put that in that body? So let's go take that. And again, go in here and you can try and look at some of this other stuff. But there's actually not too much in here. Some chewing gum, some calendars, sky the mini, rings. The construction has begun. Like, yeah. It's sure. just like can crap you, you might find, like just little yeah. postcards mm -hmm. and trinkets and like. Can you take that paper clip? You never know. <laughs> no, but it looks pretty oh, big though, right? Yeah. Or you can't take this little robot either. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think you can actually take these little uh, marbles. Awesome. I like the warbly little. That little, yeah, music. Kid hit. music. All right, so let's go back up here. Is there a lot of music in the game? Uh, pretty here decent. It's used to good effect. Okay. Uh, it's 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 good, it's not bad. Oh hey! See that? Oh, whoa! Wow, look at that cool sky bus! I know. Sky bus just running. I know, man. Oh. So. We'll I go. almost just said, man. I hope they do more with this universe. And like, I, I haven't even played this game yet, but I do want. I'm I'm now gonna go play this game. <laughs> Let's shut this so. door. Let's go back to our lady friend here. Uh, uh so we left the thing outside. Wait, when we turned around last time, that number said like 95 or yeah. whatever. 90, 94 even. Something yeah. was very, it was so very high. Let's hit power. Oh boy, 74, huh? Oh. Why would. Uh oh. I says better turn it off, Vinny. I'm gonna let it go. No, Vinny. I've never. I didn't let it go. Oh, this is terrifying. This is terrifying. You're right. At least put the rest of her head on. Or leave. I'm just. <laughs> Just... Oh boy. Whoa, uh oh. You didn't turn her off there, did you? No. That was like a death glare. 
everything okay? Oh, you failed. I did. You in a fail state. Interesting. I broke the robot? You did. Wow. Oh, no. Vinny. I'm so sorry. What was the latest chapter? Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, we did okay. that. We did the journal. We did the favorite toy. Okay. We'll pick it up from here. That's... That's interesting. When you find I, out what happened, it's even more disturbing. Is it? Yeah. Okay. It's it's actually no really, really horrible. Whoa. Okay. There we go. All right. Let me run Take out there. I'll go get the... Because uh, I don't have the, the thing. Let me just run out there and get it. I mean, will it still be out here? What are you, what are you, what yeah. are you looking for? Uh, the, the module. Oh, you have to go get the module yeah. still. I see. So I'm just going to run out here and get it. The first time I played it, it was so disturbing I just turned it off. Yeah, They do sure. a good job of being like, you should turn this off. This yeah. does not look good. It didn't. Uh, but I just had to see what happened now that I knew what was actually going on. All right, so let's just grab this. Let's grab this. Stick it in my pocket. Oops. Turn it right around. Is it just started like that around sage uh, and yeah, stuff? Yeah, I didn't actually get too much of that at home. Okay. Well, mostly because I didn't s spin around. I, I did it at a pretty methodical pace. Got ya. Alright, so we're gonna go back to her. You know, kind of just cruise. Whoa! Kind of just cruise. That little bug? What was that? I don't know. That was weird. But we didn't see the choo choo train this time. No. Oh, this, the sky bus. Okay. Right. So we can see this time. 93. 93. She powers up. And just blinks a few times. She's like, up. Oh, up. Oh. Mm. Now there's a sky bus. Yep. Mm, no. All right, so we we know what this is. It's on the ground. This thing's garbage. Boom. All right, put that in. All right, we know bad things happen if we just right. turn it on now. Uh, I also know that uh, if you look, <laughs> if you look at your M body chart, uh huh, you can kind of see some stuff here. There's all sorts of different parts. Yeah. Yeah, and so uh, you will notice that on this machine. Oh. There are these parts. Interesting. And, you f and again, you can find out what all of these things are actually for. I got so you. Let's, let's try one at a time and see what happens. Uh, 74 again. Okay. Nope. Nope. Oh, boy. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, grab this last bit. Uh, should we give her a little dignity? Try and put yeah, her in? Yeah. Yeah. Please. So wait, why not just put those pieces in with that 94 head thing? So you'll find out later what the okay. 94 actually means. See all these okay. numbers here? Yep, yep. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah? Can we talk to this thing? Person, this person, mm. this being. Hi. Hi. Hey. Can you hear me? Where am I? Somewhere in Mongolia, in some yurt. What happened to him? <coughs> I don't know. I don't remember anything either. Was it you who switched me on? Yes. Are you a Mulga? I don't know, but, uh, but I doubt it. Where did you get my neurochip? I found it in a cache underground. What cache? A long time ago, I hid a cache of toys in the ground. You were playing with my neurochip and then buried it in the ground? Looks that way. That's that you shouldn't do that. Of it. <laughs> my name is Enabish, I think. And you are? What do you want? So I read something that said the director of this game intentionally wanted the voice actor for Enabish to sound flat. Yeah, I can so hear that. So not necessarily bad voice acting, it's, okay. it's intentional. I want to know what's going on here. You're not a mulger. A uh, mulger, what, yeah. I don't know what a mulger is. Can you explain? Someone who kidnaps people and sells their substance. What substance? I don't understand. My name is Ida. And I understand even less than you do. I do not recognize this body. 
There's something wrong with it. I can't see anything and I don't feel my legs. What's wrong with my legs? I got bad news. They're, um, Are they? I didn't realize yeah. this about them. Kind of like a vase. Whoa. You've got a flower vase where your legs should be. That's ridiculous. I'm scared. Calm down, Ida. Tell me, are you a robot? I'm a human being in an artificial body. You mean you've had your body replaced? Half of humanity had their bodies replaced. Where did you get my neurochip? Ida, I've just now found it in an old cache. The cache you made when you were a child? Yes, if my journal is to be trusted. How could my neurochip have ended up in the hands of a child? Ongots brought it. My father's Good. trained golden eagle. Good. <laughs> Just nothing. Nothing. Got nothing. Great. I don't know where he had found it. How long ago was that? Long. 18 years ago. Listen, Anibish. I feel ill at ease here and scared. I want to remember who I am and return home. Please help me. I want the same thing. How can I help? You need to call the evacuators. They'll come and take me away. I've been trying to send a request, but it's useless. My marker isn't answering. So I think you can, I'm not sure if you can miss some of this, but sometimes you click one and then the other one goes away. Sure. Marker. The authenticity marker. It's like my passport. It's got all my personal data. All requests must be accompanied by data from the marker, but it appears to be broken. So what do we do? I don't know. We might be able to use my neurocopy number, but I don't remember it. I remember almost nothing about myself. Just like me. Well, at least you're in your home. You know about your childhood, your family. I'm not sure if I'm home. I don't know this place. Strange. Listen, why don't you start asking sure. me questions? That's a thing. Anything you wish to know. Maybe that will help sort my of memories. Maybe I'll even like remember the. Don't ask her if she's all right. She's definitely not all right. You all right? You all right? That's not... I feel something is wrong with this body. I can't figure out what. Yeah, look, don't worry about it. There yeah. was some stuff that was happening before <laughs> yeah. that was real bad. Yeah. You don't need to know about it. We loaded a different save. You're yeah. okay. <laughs> about bodies? All right. They are called... So this is another one of those like, exposition This is a big moments. exposition yeah. dump here. Why replace people's bodies? Because of the epidemic. There was a virus that spread across the globe, a sterility virus. They couldn't fight it, so they developed this body replacement program. Okay. Transferring consciousness sure. from a regular body into a mechanical one. Ray Kurzweil, right. you know, has been sure. saying that for a long time. And right. That's he's only sort of the worst. People use it to hide from decrepitude. Once the virus is cured, we'll be able to return to our regular bodies. Mm. The virus could be gone by now. It's been years. I don't know. It was just so... No treatment worked. Not antibiotics, nothing. There was only one substance capable of destroying the virus, Passium. But the accumulation process was extremely... So this is a little weird. Yeah? How was it accumulated? Yeah. It was extracted from people themselves. We had these things called little sisters. Uh, yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Nervous system? I don't get it. Well, Passium can only be extracted from emotions. Whenever you experience an emotion, any emotion, your M body manufactures a little bit of the substance. A substance produced by emotions? This guy does not produce any of the substance. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing There's no way. Remedy against the virus. As a result, Passium skyrocketed in value, far surpassing everything else. And every person, they became Everybody became a source of value? Yes, although there were people whose substance was considered more you don't say. than that of others. Who were those people? People that were special somehow. They had something. They were greatly respected, but I can't remember. I think I figured out what's wrong with me. I can't breathe. Breathe? This is, this is also a good little bit of sci-fi right here. I simply need to inhale air. It's been inherited from my former body. Oh, that's really weird. I can't get rid of it. All M bodies have a oh, special module. That makes me like, <laughs> my whole chest is all fucked up right? now. 
Like, I'm really desperate to keep breathing. Isn't that like a little bit of like, like sci-fi, like, yeah. like nitty like gritty? Phantom Limb Syndrome, yeah, but totally. for like body. Yeah. Like we need this reflex? Yep. I need a breathing module. Alright. Where do I look? I'm gonna kind of push past some of this. Step. How much further... I'm gonna go to the next bit of just puzzle stuff. Okay. I don't want to give... I don't want to give away the whole thing. It's a pretty long game. Okay. What kind of complex? A big dome with multicolored sails. Hold on. Yes, I see it. I've got access to it. The Gerbera Garden. Anabish, I remember this name. I used to have a connection to this place. I think that it's... an amusement. It looks the part. M body parts restored there, in the pavilion. All right, so I'm gonna just All skip right. to go in, go in there. Nothing like going to an amusement park to find body parts. <laughs> find the password to the file database. It may contain my data. So he goes through that if you want I to understand I what the hell that's all about. Right, right, right. But she doesn't know much right now. So you always hit that help me understand something because it doesn't recap what you went over. It's actually new it's bits. Actually new stuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So we we can um, we can go now. We can't uh, rip her uh, head off anymore. Good. That's uh, good. Because you just talked to her right now. Yeah. Uh, this is the thing you use later on. Right now. All right. So I'm gonna go to this next bit, uh, which is this um, dome. Yeah, and it's the only other bit of gameplay that's a. Uh, very different than what you've seen oh, so Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So it's not just looking at things and reading them? No. It's a little more interactive than that. Interesting. Um, really then, nice vistas here. Really just yeah. good looking. Good looking game. We kind of have to huff it over there. You said earlier that it reminded you a little bit of like the the like Margaret Atwood style of sci-fi. Like they're, her like kind of dystopian futures. Yeah. Um, a lot of like uh, mundane detail that is mm -hmm. uh, really fleshes out what like living in that world would be like. Not everybody is like a high adventure. Right, right. Uh, Lots of people are just like getting by, and a lot of people getting by, and like not everybody's the savior of the world kind of right, thing. Though right. you know maybe this game, <laughs> I, I like I said, I don't really understand all the story of it, okay. but that, yeah, it is probably a little bit more of you are the savior of the world than that stuff. Then yeah, sure, sure, sure. It just broke into this I did. amusement park. The sick amusement park. Cool balloons. Which uh I like their their font work here, their typeface up there is real good. Yeah. And while we're here uh power this thing up. Uh, that thing seems real broken, Vinny. Oh boy. That's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And uh, just so we. Uh, Anabish, I remembered who those people were. So we don't have to was regarded as more climb that fence anymore. Oh, cool. Their genes that made them special. Their DNA has been worse. In other words, these were people with good heredity. Such people produce a special kind of passion, which contains a valuable component. Just stop right there. This component that was needed to fight the virus and not the whole substance. That was why they commanded such respect. Humanity's struggle against the virus hinged on them. Back then, everybody used to say that the emotions of beautiful people were our salvation. God. Cool. It, it's, I'm telling you, this universe is weird, and I love it. No, it's like, it's 100% my, my jam. Like, uh, you know, commoditizing people, especially people who are considered... Like the beautiful the people. beautiful, or like uh, dividing people into different... Yeah. All that stuff is my jam. I'm excited to see what they do with it. All right, so let's get into the what seems like a total non sequitur for this game, mm -hmm. but uh, they do actually explain later on in the fiction. Uh, so we kind of enter this uh, amusement park. Some of this stuff is not explained, or at least I didn't find um, mm -hmm. really great explanations for it, like uh, like this thing. Uh, hey, hi. I. How you doing? <laughs> doing well. Ah. Uh, uh, but this is a cool room, and they do explain this later on. That that Let's is a cool room. There. Jump in there. Kind of. What the? So oh, think interesting. About what happened in here. Yeah, really interesting. Um. All right, so we have to go to Pavilion uh, Seven. 
Oh, where it is? Pavilion 7. Look at these weird slides and tubes. Yeah, yeah, there it is. So we go up this. This pneumatic tube? It's like a space elevator. Okay. Whee! Okay, we open this Watch door. your head. <laughs> You're at the location. Hold on. I'll try to really good color here. This mm -hmm. is just, yeah, this is pretty dope. All right, so I'm not going to say this is probably my least favorite part of this game. Okay. Know. And you have to do this four or five times. Oh, boy. This is also part of why you, you kind of give it a, a reservation. Uh, it, it's not that hard once you kind of figure out what they want. Uh, but, but I just didn't find it that enjoyable. Okay. It seems crammed into this otherwise really, uh, really delicate and fantastic weaving of a narrative. And okay. then, like, this part just feels like a freaking hammer. Okay. Like, not in storytelling, just in gameplay. Okay. I'm but curious. But it is in part of the fiction, so they do kind of explain what it is. It isn't just, do. whoa, okay. Okay, so basically you got to collect 30 cubes. I'll show you how to do it. Yeah, this is weird. And then uh, you win the module. All right, so you basically you pick Are up... Are you picking up the blue cubes? Yeah, I pick up these blue cubes. Uh, you know, you can do... I never really understood why you'd make platforms, but... Uh, okay. Say, and then don't fall in the water. There's water Sure. Okay, so you pick up these this cubes. This is weird. I'm putting them all in my inventory. Uh, and I can kind of... I oh, usually like blast through the other ones, yeah. huh? I gotta find more you, of those. You just want the blue ones? Yeah. Okay. And sometimes they're hidden behind other ones. Uh, and then this little jerk, he comes in. Oh, no. He usually blows stuff up. Blows that up guy, a bunch of cubes. Whoa. I really like I really like that like kind of flat 2D uh, image that he that he has when he's moving around. Oh, the little it's like, like almost like an, an emoji and like a smiley yeah. face. Yeah. yeah. So I'll pick up these, as many as I can. It's, uh, pretty soon I'll fill up my inventory. What's up with the thing in the bottom left Whoa. corner of the screen? Uh, that, oh crap, he's gonna suck all that stuff up, but it's okay. So that's the number of cubes I've found. Uh, it usually takes about oh, four okay. trips of filling oh, up inventory. Oh, you have to like, go return them somewhere. Yeah, I've gotta shove them into, uh, oh. oh no. You can get caught in the blast, it just gets rid of uh, cubes. I see. Um, and then eventually you gotta throw them oh. into there and they all go up there. Gotcha. Uh, sometimes the thing goes away and starts sucking in all the loose cubes. So you wanna make sure if that monster thing exploded Is a bunch of cubes. A limited amount of time to do this? Uh, well, if if you run out of blue blue cubes you will lose. You can't okay. you can't solve the puzzle. Uh, so Oh, I didn't want to fall down there. Nope. You definitely don't want to fall in the water because you lose a significant amount of cubes. All right, we're good. Just throw this in here. Maybe the thing with the with the platforms would just be like getting back up at those so, other ones. So yeah, you, yeah, but I didn't see any reason to make waste a blue cube to make a platform. Uh, you can only use blue cubes. You can't pick yeah, up you, the. Yeah, you have to mix a blue cube with a white cube, and that makes a platform. Oh, weird. Are you gonna explode? I don't want to fall in the water. It's close. Okay. Uh, so you hear that whoosh, yeah. that kind of means that that thing's going to start uh, turn into the sucking mechanic. Gotcha. Uh, it's going to suck up some cubes. This looks interesting, but I can I can totally see. It, it is very strange that this is just in yeah. this game. It's weird. I'm going to wait for that thing to go back up, and I'm going to jump in it to kind of rise back up. Oh, you can also just... Yeah. Yeah, then I have no idea why you would ever um, use the makeup Because I, I can just take these and then reattach them right, to other right. places, too. All right, so how are we doing here? I need three more to fill out uh, run here. I could just throw them in now, but it's kind of a waste. Yeah. There they are. Oops. Like that. Like that. Like that. Uh, so you don't want to throw it in when this thing is changing, otherwise you lose your cubes. They just land in the water. You can't and lose your cubes. Never want to lose your cubes. What's with that red cube? Uh, I think red cubes come into play later. Okay. They're like bomb cubes. Don't blow up here, you jerk. He, he did. He blew up right there. So if I didn't collect these blue ones here, they'd get sucked in. When and I then made, you'd lose them. I'd and that's, lose them. that's the kind yeah. of timing oh, mechanism. Oh, crap. There's like something. I think there's one behind here. Is it a white well, cube? I think it's a white cube. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's just make a path here. Oh, there's a blue one right over there. 
How many can you hold in your in your inventory? Uh, six and one in the hand. Gotcha. Well. Always keep a cube in the chamber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's six, right? No, it's seven and one in the okay. hand. Okay. All right, let's. Uh, the white one. Oh, just kind of search. Oop, there you go. I think we need one more. Oh, there's two more right there. All right, and then. I think you probably have enough. Maybe. Uh, I'm gonna grab one more. Just to be safe. Yeah. There you go. All right. Oh. Let this guy do his thing. So go, go, go away. What a right. weirdo. Yeah, he is kind of a weirdo. And I definitely don't want to... Do you get his story? Do you get what that character is? <laughs> no, maybe mm. he's DLC. So I can throw these in again. I don't want to throw them in when that thing is about to disappear. So I probably need uh, like one more cube. No, no, that was it. I win! You win. So you, you kind of have to play variations on that. Okay. Like three or four more times. Um, I don't know. It, one of them was actually pretty hard. Yeah. Uh, and once I kind of got into the pattern of, um, hey, just fill up my inventory and then chuck them all in, it got a lot easier. I was chucking them in one at a time. Is there really a satisfactory answer for why this thing was? Yes. Okay. I believe you. Yeah. It's, it's definitely in the fiction. Interesting. Whether it's satisfactory. Right, but it's, but it's touched. It's it is, not just like... It is It is well explained. In the story, you know, if I said, oh, and then you went to this amusement park and played this game to get this thing, yeah. and someone said, well, why would you do that? that I could at least yes. give an answer. I could, I could tell you after this right. quick look if you really wanted. No, 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 no. I'm going to play this game. Uh, so we'll go return this and then we'll call it. Sounds good. Uh, that's the fastest way out of here. Did you bring your hover hover? I thought I put it at the gate. Yeah, I yeah. thought so. I don't know whether this would be useful, but there were people that were dubbed outsiders. For whatever reason, they sought to spread the sterility virus. They were the reason the virus became a global scourge. Mm. But how they did it, or why, that I do not remember. I think oh, it almost sounds like a lawnmower yeah. starting up. It's great. Can you read what that thing says? Uh, it's something about like uh, the breaking. Okay. Yeah, sure. And you can stop this thing wherever you want. Can like, you like direct it or uh, it only just... left it like only back and forth? But like okay. you, if you want to land it and get off somewhere else. Right, right, right. That's really cool. Um, but we're gonna take this all the way, all back the way home. Yeah, it's much faster than. Uh, Look at that big, what is that big black? Do you see that? Yeah. The bugs? Yep. Mm. It's gonna. Bye. It's gonna keep going. Peace. Did you break through another gate? I think they reset it. Oh, okay. Is that explained in the fiction? No, I think the I just did that gates? out of order. Okay. Like, it, it, like the, the task was find another way out, but I already knew this thing was uh, right. available to me. All right, we're here. Turn it off. No need to walk anymore. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go give her, give her her air, her her breathing apparatus. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Uh, I'm not going to do that. What okay. I'm going to do is I'm going to load up. Um, okay. Is there is there a thing? Yeah, I'm okay. going to load up this, and I'm going to show you one other uh, person in this game who who's kind of the only other character in this, and it's just for the purpose of uh, so you can see the eyes. Are oh, the video eyes? Yeah. Video eyes is my new album in stores uh, this week. <laughs> There's your sky train. I'm just hanging out. I'm getting that getting that sky train. I was wondering what this little platform was. Okay. Hey, hey, well, buddy. Where'd you disappear to? Listen. I found out how much they're paying. It's good money. Very good, actually. I'm going tomorrow. Uh, the procedure is simple. No pain and almost no damage. Sure, your brain is a little worse for wear while their patient recovers. Uh, but a job's a job, right? I might even quit the whole flower collecting business. I... Uh, sorry. I don't know what that means. Who are you? Anibish. I ain't got time to spare, so why are you wasting it? Is this your... Is gonna get fired. 
I don't want to go back to getting shut down for 20 days and hours. I think one of the cool things, and you kind of pick this up from some of the other texts, is like, you know, think about a, a commodity where like you have to buy a robot, mm -hmm. like basically going to Old Navy buying this, but this this robot or this android, this yeah. M-body, is you. Yeah. So people wind up trying to like accessorize it yeah, in, sure. in really dumb and like unique and interesting ways. That and accessories, makes them... Yeah, feel so like that they're that's why this guy has yeah, like totally. this rubber nose and glasses totally. on, and like so he doesn't look like every I, other. Know, I actually think his beard works really well because it hides <laughs> that they don't have mouths. And yeah. Like it was like, oh yeah, I felt way more comfortable watching him speak than the watching, robot. watching her speak because uh, the, she didn't have any facial movement. So I thought that was actually an interesting part of the fiction in yeah, the story. Totally. Was like, and there's actually like a whole like clipping that's like about the prices of uh, accessories going right, up. Sure, and sure. Should rich people only be able to be unique? And yeah, like, yeah. Uh, what about everybody else? And um, like, should we should the government like step in and like sub, you know, subsidize? It's, like, it's really weird. Yeah, totally. There's um there's a couple of really good episodes of the Ghost in the Shell anime that that touch on some of that stuff because that gets into lots of like. Oh, your brain is just in a case, and you can just put that in a body. And like, right. what sort of body do you want to have, and can you afford to have? Who has access to those things? It's really cool. And uh, here you can definitely see the video eyes, oh, which yeah, I think definitely. is a is a cool like. It's a real cool look. And again, it's has actually it. defined in the fiction right, of right, why that right. uh, why that is, and why that. Uh, this is like really that. cool. Uh, so yeah, that's Cradle. I'm gonna go play this. Uh, I think it's like, uh, what is it? It's like 13 bucks. Yeah. Um, okay. And it's, I guess, about like five or six hours. Now again, you're gonna want to look around. It, this is not a game for somebody who wants to be spoon-fed the story. Right, right. I, I feel like I didn't do this, but I feel like you can kind of mainline the objectives in this game. And then be done with it. And, and just feel be like you've completely been... at a loss. Okay. For what is so happening. So really spend the time looking around. Yeah. And reading everything and. And the, actually, the ending of this game, it's not a spoiler, but the ending of this game actually shows you, like, quickly, like, three things that maybe you would want to go back and make sure you read oh, to kind of explain what's going on here. Like, it says, like, hey, make sure you... It shows, like, a things. video clip of, like, uh, almost like a almost like if somebody were recording the game being like, okay, look at this, look here, look mm, here, look here. Okay. Just in case this doesn't make any sense right. to you. Did I, you, did I, you... I happen to have read all okay. of them. Gotcha. Uh, but I went back and reread them to be like, well, mm -hmm. if you're showing me that this is very important, I want to reread these... Interesting. Uh, and see what's going on. Cool. So yeah, that's Cradle. It's available on Steam. I think it. Uh, I think this universe is really awesome. Yeah. Uh, and, and like you know, I thought Mass Effect universe was really cool and fleshed out as well. But this is just different because it's a little more uh, unique and coming at me. Like I feel like this is written not as like Western sci-fi. Right. This is right. like taking elements that are like deal in a lot of like reincarnation sure. and like different cultures that always appeal to me because it's like not what I'm used to. Sure. It's not just aliens and space guns. Right. And like right. Uh, how can we travel faster than light? Right. This is a lot of Which like... Which is also cool stuff but like it's nice to get something other than that in games. Yeah games. and sometimes it, it is really refreshing to get it from I, I, I'm not sure where this game was made but I do not think this is I would suspect this is not influenced by as much by western like gotcha. sci-fi as, as other stuff because the, a lot of the uh, themes in here are just things that you would seem to me to be taken from other cultures, which gotcha. are great. Uh, so thanks, Austin. Thanks for showing this off. You got it.